Assembly Bill 5 continues to dominate headlines in California, especially after Uber and Lyft uh, threatened to suspend their operations in California in order to avoid complying with the bill. Joining us to talk more about AB 5 and some other issues in Sacramento's continued attempts to eliminate single family zoning is City Council member and San Diego mayoral candidate Barbara Bree. Good morning to you. Good morning, Lauren. Okay, so let's start with uh, first uh, the, the big issue because it's sort of in the headlines right now, and that is uh, Assembly Bill 5 and the fact that yesterday Lyft said it was going to be suspending operations in California altogether and then got this emergency stay from the court saying, okay, Uber and Lyft can have another 30 days to, to sort of figure this out. You're saying AB 5 needs to be repealed. This is sort of an evolution of, of how you felt about it. T tell us why you've now come to that decision. Well, I've long called for the repeal of AB5, and AB5 was co-sponsored by Todd Gloria, who is running against me for mayor. And it's clear he has no understanding of the new economy or the business world. Uh, before I got to the city council in 2016, I spent 30 years in the technology sector, and I'd signed the front of the paycheck. AB5 was simply the wrong approach to solving the independent contractor issue. Uh, what England did and what other places have done is create a third category of worker who does get protections, who does get benefits. And this is what Proposition 22, which will be on the November ballot, uh, will allow for uh, individuals who work for Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and others. And this is the right approach to dealing with our new economy. When you look at AB5 and what's happened since then, the, the list of professions that are exempt from AB5 is a long one. You're talking doctors, dentists, psychologists, insurance agents, stockbrokers, lawyers, accountants, engineers, real estate agents. I mean, it is, it is an extensive list of people and, and working groups that are exempt from AB5. And it seems a little unfair. At, at that point, do you say, well, since we have to exempt so many people, should we just reevaluate what we're trying to do? Yes, and, and exactly. And if you you know, you read a list of professions, many of whom have very high paid lobbyists. And the exemption approach was the wrong approach. That's why we need to create this new category of worker. Uh, just adding more exemptions when every day we may have new occupations isn't the right way to approach uh, the issue of the new economy. And so the legislature should start all over again, should repeal AB5, should have done something similar to what is voters are going to be able to decide on in November with Proposition 22. And hopefully the courts will give a stay through the election to let voters weigh in on how they want to resolve this issue. I mean, you you obviously are in a position, you're, you're running for uh, mayor of San Diego. You and, and Todd Gloria uh, are, are up for mayor. He obviously is in support of AB5, having co-sponsored it, as you mentioned. But are you hearing, what are you hearing from constituents on this issue? So first of all, Todd Gloria has never signed the front of the paycheck. He's never even held a job in the private sector. But what I'm hearing from constituents, I'm hearing both from, you know, from drivers who, you know, this is a way that they, most of them supplement uh, their income. And I'm also hearing from constituents who depend on these services to go to doctor's appointments, to go shopping, uh, to go visit their families. Um, and I'm hearing from small businesses, um, a group of small businesses, you know, um, particularly in the minority community have written a letter to the governor asking him to step in to help resolve this issue. This includes the NAACP, the Los Angeles Urban League. I mean, this disproportionately hurts businesses owned by uh, minorities. Yeah, let's talk about another issue that uh, I, I know you have, um, it's, a, it's a big talk, topic because it relates to affordable housing, which is going to be and is a huge issue for San Diego County and its voters. Uh, single family zoning, and this is something that you think the state should not have control uh, of and should not take away single family zoning uh, because it will sort of have uh, gentrification impacts. Can you talk a little bit about that? 
Yes, and um, importantly, this also highlights another difference between Mr. Gloria and me. He is endorsed by the YIMBY Democratic Club, which supports the elimination of single-family zoning. He has supported legislation that would eliminate single-family zoning. Um, in the next few weeks, the legislature will be considering different pieces of legislation that would essentially do this. Um, I think this simply results in gentrification. Uh, developers will go first to neighborhoods where uh, the cost of land is less. They will snap up single family homes. They will build expensive multifamily units on these homes and that does not solve our housing issue. Um, I do have plans as to what I would do as mayor, um, if you'd like me to go into that. Well, of course, because as I've been uh, uh, preaching all morning long with, with uh, all the national conventions uh, underway, both Democrats and Republicans, uh, voters want a game plan. We want to see the playbook and know, OK, well, what are you going to do? So how do you address this issue? So first, I'm going to revamp our development services department. It simply takes too long to get a permit even though you know on that piece of land exactly what the community plan allows you to do, it takes too long. And time is money in the real estate world. Uh, second, because of the pandemic, we're going to have opportunities to reuse office buildings and shopping centers. Uh, right now, there's a lot of empty office space and a lot of it is never going to be occupied again as many of us are going to continue working remotely. So how are we going to be able to turn these spaces into housing? Uh, and this is a good use of these spaces because they're it's where we already have infrastructure. Um, third, I'm going to enforce our laws against short-term rentals. That's 16,000 housing units that will come back onto the market uh, for San Diegans to live in. Uh, and fourth, I'm going to continue to support increased density along transit where it makes sense. I've already voted to do this uh, to, when I updated the Mission Valley Community Plan and others. And fifth, I'm working on a plan to provide down payment and closing cost assistance to first time home buyers uh, because we know that owning a home is how most people build up wealth. Yeah. You and Todd Gloria are, are both Democrats, even though, you know, city offices are, are supposed to be nonpartisan and uh, <laughs> and all of that. Uh, but obviously you, you differ on, on a lot of key issues for the city. And this is just further evidence that people really need to do homework on their candidates and, and what issues are important to them. Right. Yes, that's true. We differ. And I think one of the major differences as I've spent over 30 years in the business world, and it is going to take um, a concerted effort working with our private sector to have our economy recover. All right. Barbara Bree, thank you so much. Appreciate your time this morning and your willingness to uh, lay out your plan for us. Appreciate it, as always. Thank you, Lauren. All right. So again, uh, Barbara Bree, candidate for mayor, running up against Todd Gloria. So uh, there you have it, San Diego mayoral race. We'll